Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the WUHD Pro 100K HDMI Wireless Sender and Receiver Kit. This product includes everything you'll need to quickly and easily connect any HDMI media source up to a monitor or widescreen display through a wireless connection up to 30 feet apart with full support for 4K ultra high definition media. The product is plug and play simple and you can be up and running in a few minutes. Now as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included in the kit. I'll also explain some of the media sources and standards the product supports. Then I'll do some close-ups and show you exactly what the buttons and connections are on each of the units. And then finally, I'll install it here in the shop just to show you how simple it's going to be once you get it home. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the transmitter and receiver modules. You'll also find two power supplies. These are standard 5 volt power supplies. Plug that into the wall. The other end has got a micro USB connection on it, pretty standard connection, and that plugs into the back of the unit. You'll also find an instruction manual. Inside the instruction manual, you'll get information on the type of media sources you can use, the standards the product supports, there are connection diagrams in case you need those. There's warranty information in there that lets you know how long the product is under warranty. And of course, there's contact information in there in case you have questions or need to get a hold of us. One other thing we do include, on the back of the unit, there's a clip. We include this little assembly here that you can slide in and choose to either have it stand at a 45 degree or you can spin it around and have it stand at a 90 degree angle as well. So the choice is yours depending on your style of media center and how you think it looks best. But both of those are very easy to attach to the back. So that's pretty much all I had for the unboxing. Now stay tuned and I'll discuss some of the media sources you can use with the product and some of the standards it supports. The WUHD Pro 100K can be used with a wide range of media devices including PCs, game consoles, streaming devices like Roku and Fire Stick, home surveillance systems, and cable boxes. The product provides a point-to-point -point wireless connection that supports 4K at 30 Hz, 1080i and 1080p at both 50 and 60 Hz, 4K HDR 10-bit, and is both HDMI 1.4 and HDCP 2.0 compliant. There are six individual components included with the kit, and now we'll take a closer look at each of them to help you better understand the connections you'll need to make to use the product. Inside the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module, two brackets that attach to the back of those modules and allow you to adjust their standing position between 90 and 45 degrees. We also include two 5 volt power supplies. This end would get plugged into a wall outlet. This end has a micro USB connection, which plugs into the back of the module. Now the power supplies are exactly the same, so you can use either supply with either module. The two modules look very similar, so it's very important you connect the transmitter module up to your media device, it could be your DVD player or your game console, and the receiver gets connected up to your monitor. The brackets are attached on the back of these modules very simply by sliding them onto this flange, and if you look closely at the brackets, you'll find two sides have rubber feet, and one side doesn't. That's the side that actually slides up against the back of the unit. And to attach it, you basically slide it into the flange like that, and it's adjusted for 90 degrees. If you want it to be at a 45 degree angle, you simply take off the bracket, flip it over, and slide it back on, and now it's at 45 degrees. Now the best transmissions when it's in a 45 degree position like this, but it's totally up to you which way you set it up based on your cabling situation and your media center. Now let's take a closer look at the modules themselves. Again, I'd mentioned that the transmitter and receiver module are very similar. There's one key difference between them, and I'll point that out in a second. On the back of the module, you'll see an abundance of venting holes here, and that keeps the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature. I've explained the flange before. Nothing on the top. On the one side, you'll see two buttons. There's a reset button, and there's a pairing button right here. Now, these two units come paired from the factory, but if you find problems with connections, you can press the pairing button on both. They'll take a second and sync up. On the bottom, again, no connections. On the other side, you can see a power supply connection here. That's where the micro USB connection plugs in from the wall units that I discussed a minute ago. And you have an HDMI in connection. Those are the two physical connections you'll need to make to use this unit. And again, this is the transmitter. So this will be on your media player side. And you'll take an HDMI cable from that media player into here and then power supply into here. On the receiver end, you've got the same venting on the bottom. You've got the reset button here and you've got the pairing button there. And again, if they're not paired up, you can hit that button and they'll pair up on both sides. On the other side, you've got an HDMI out connection and again, your power supply connection. The only thing that you can't see, or isn't very obvious, I should say, is there are white LEDs on the front of the unit, 
When you first power up the unit, those white LEDs will blink when it's going through its power on self-test, and eventually, once they sync up, those white LEDs will be on solid. Now, if you find that they're still blinking, you would hit those pairing buttons, give it a couple of seconds, and the two units would pair up. And that's pretty much it for the closer look section, so stay tuned, and I'll actually show you how to connect this up in your own home. Now I'll show you how to connect the WUHD Pro 100K HDMI extender kit to your own equipment at home. In front of me on the table, I have the receiver module, the transmitter module, I've set up a media player over here. Now this could be a DVD player, a laptop, a game console, any valid HDMI source, and I've got an HD monitor. And this kit is designed to very simply and quickly allow you to make a wireless connection between your media device and your monitor to help you avoid the hassle of running cables up a wall and over a ceiling. Now to get started, we'll hook up the receiver module first, and I only need to make two connections to get this working. I've run a short HDMI cable off of the back of the monitor. That goes to the HDMI output on the module. And I've got the power supply plugged in, micro USB connection on the side, that applies power. Now when you first power this up, you'll see a white LED in the center of the unit start to light up and it'll strobe very slowly. That means it's going through a power on self-test where it's checking all the internal components, it's verifying it's got a connection to the monitor, and it's checking the resolution of the monitor to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. Once it starts strobing a little faster, that means that it's actually looking for its mate right now. It's out there broadcasting a signal looking for another device it can pair with. So let's connect up the transmitter. And again, I've run a short HDMI cable off of the back of the media player and I've plugged in a power supply. The HDMI connection is on the side of the unit to the HDMI in port. And I'll plug the power supply into the micro USB. And you'll notice the same thing. It's probably hard to see it from there, but there's a white LED on the front that blinks very slowly as it's going through the self-test. Once it's done with that and it's happy, it'll start blinking faster and broadcasting that pairing uh, notification to the receiver. And once those two lock on where they're on solid like they are now, you can see that I'm now transmitting the media from here to that monitor. And that happened very quickly. You won't have to worry about pairing them manually. Once they're paired the first time, you should be set. But if you get into a situation where they're still both blinking very quickly, that means they haven't found each other, you can very gently hit the pairing button on the side of the receiver and the transmitter, and that'll bind the two units together. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And I think the coolest thing about this is that there is no physical connection between the transmitter and the receiver. All the video and audio is being broadcast in ultra high definition over that wireless connection. So it does give you a lot of freedom to put this in one area of your room and put the monitor pretty far away from it and still get that beautiful video broadcast cast to that monitor. I hope this overview is helpful in explaining the benefits of the WUHD Pro 100K HDMI wireless sender and receiver kit. This product provides a very simple solution for connecting almost any HDMI media source up to your monitor or widescreen display over a wireless connection to get you up and running quickly so you can enjoy your media. If we've missed anything today or you have further questions, please check the FAQ on our website or use the Contact Us link on the website to send us a note and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Thanks an awful lot for watching.